Conservative the media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the NFL expert. Oh, man. It's on now, dude. We're talking about week 17, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington Redskins. And this is it. This game is going to decide who's going to win the NFC East. And if you win the NFC East, you're going to the NFL playoffs. So this is a huge game. It's a division rivalry game, and I don't know that there's any game, in my personal opinion, this is the biggest game of Week 17. So here's what I think about it. This is my prediction and preview of this game. I, this is a tough one to pick. This is a difficult one to pick. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to tell you why. Here's where I'm at on this. Look, I'm a huge RG3 fan. You know that. I've said it since the Combine that I thought RG3 was the best talent coming out of the Combine. I thought he was the, the, should have been the number one pick. Everything like that. No disrespect to Andrew Luck, who's done fantastic with the Baltimore Colts. No doubt about it. But I think RG3, in my personal opinion, first of all, my personal opinion, only knowledge, any facts, and I can't see any aspersions or for entertainment purpose only. Please check the disclaimers. In my personal opinion, RG3 has proven me correct in that assessment. But RG3 got injured. And the RG3 that I saw last week wasn't, in my personal opinion, a full power RG3. He wasn't the RG3 of before. So I don't know if he's going to be better this week or not, but you know, to me, in my personal opinion, there's a question mark there. That's number one. Number two, Tony Romo is playing amazing. Actually, let's just stop right here and let's rewind it to the last time these two teams met up at the end of November, okay? Not all that long ago, okay? In that game, 38-31, win by the Redskins, you had RG3 just was playing explosive, okay? Four touchdowns, one interception. You had, you know, Morris just running well over 100 yards, doing his thing there. You had RG3 running for some decent yards. So, do I think that RG3 is going to be able to play to that level? I have, again, I, I have my questions about it. I have my questions about where he's going to be at in this game. The second thing you have to think about in that, so that, that's a question mark. The second thing you have to think about is in that game, you had three turnovers by Dallas, two INTs thrown by Romo, and uh, a fumble. I don't think you're going to see that kind of tur turnover differential. So if you take away that kind of turnover differential, uh, you know, I think RG3 had, had one interception, so I think there's, you know, they were plus two. I, I may be wrong in that, but uh, I'll put some information in the description. Then, in the video description below, then you know I think that 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 that's something to think about. Again, they only won by one touchdown, and Dallas was coming on in the second half of there. So I think you have a number of factors coming in here. Number one, I don't know that RG3 is at full strength right now. Number two, Tony Romo is playing amazing right now, playing lights out. Okay. Uh, number three, Des Bryant has absolutely exploded. Number four, DeMarco Murray is running fantastic too. So I mean, the the you know yes, the run defense for the for the Redskins is is very good, uh, but the running game was like where was the running game for Dallas last time? Now you've got DeMarco Murray in there. I don't think it's going to be hard for Dallas to beat the run production that they had last time they met. That's number one. Number two, you've got an even a more increased Tony Romo and uh, uh, wide receiver offensive threat against a pass defense that's horrible for the Washington Redskins. So I can see Tony Romo lighting up another 400 plus yard uh, uh, type of situation. And I think that, that, um, that that's going to be hard to deal with. I think that right there, I think that's going to be hard to deal with, okay, for the Washington Redskins. I mean, and, and that's where I'm at on it. I just feel like I don't know that, that Washington can match the offensive production that they did last time. I think that, that Dallas actually can do better Let's talk about the intangibles. Do I think that Shanahan's a better coach than, than Garrett? Absolutely. But, I mean, coaches are great, and, that, and that's important, but they're, they're not playing, okay? So, I mean, ultimately, in my personal opinion, it definitely comes down to the players. And I think that, that the, the biggest intangible in this is the motivation factor, which is to say that, like, you know, I'm sure both these teams want it really bad, you know, but, I mean, in my personal opinion, based upon the history, Based upon you know everything you know when you look at all of it, I think that Dallas, you know particularly people like uh, Romo, Witten, etc., need this win. Need this win. I think Dallas needs this win in a big, big way. You know, I mean, if they lose, 
you know, who, who knows what Jerry Jones might do. I mean, and, and so, you know, I think that, that the motivation is going to be absolutely sky high. In my personal opinion, you know, so much in the NFL comes down to uh, to emotion, motivation, who wants it more. In my opinion, look, anyone can win this game. I easily can see ways where the Redskins can win this game. There's no doubt about it. I mean, RG3, Morris, every, everything we are talked about. But I think that in a close situation, I think that Dallas is going to play better than they played before. I'm not sure if the offensive production can be what it was last time for the Redskins just because of RG3's injury. And I just think that Dallas is going to want it more, and I think they're going to, you know, that's it. So I think that the, you're going to see, you know, the defense doing what they can do. I think you're going to see pressure. I think you're going to see a lot of effort. And I think that Dallas is going to win. That's where I'm at on it. What do you think about that? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think Dallas is going to win? Do you think the Redskins are going to win? Why? Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.